Ciao a tutti. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my third lesson. Noise reduction, hammer ons, pull off, all the strange noise we make with this instrument. How can we make it to shut up a little, just a little bit? Can be really a mess. Noise reduction. So, as I told you on the other videos, the bar, we have to keep it very close to the fretboard strings and we have to keep all the fingers we have after the bar on the left side close to the string close to the fretboard down on the string to kind of mute them so it's something like that so it's very full sound with no other noise so talking about the chop for example with your bar always on the fifth fret and you muted the first two string then I use the palm of my right hand to kind of mute in a little when I go down with my right hand to do the chop it's something like that it should be a movement like that like your hand is falling down like that and with your thumb you try to play across the string while your hand is going down so it's not only my right hand that is moving but also the rest of the arm something like that if you are able to do something like that do it very slowly so with your thumb across the finger anyway these two are muted so Then you can play also the first string. So this is just if you have to go down like that. But sometimes you have to come back too and I come back with my index finger this is the movement coming back for example try to do something like this there is a combination of the palm of the right hand with the muting the string with your uh, middle finger or ring finger stay close with the bar gently on the string and also gently with the thumb this is not is just like okay as everything it comes with practice you have to do it no other way then another thing that I do sometimes is mute with my thumb on the left thumb this the fifth string the sixth is ringing the fifth no and the other two yes and the other two are muted So if you are able to mute your fifth string with your thumb, something like that, this is very rich, full sound. And you can do it in every key, in D. So 
for the moment, for the beginning about the chop, I think I already told you a lot of stuff to work on, more than enough. About noise reduction, I want to tell you another thing about hearing note for note, single note without no extra noise. We are on the fifth fret. Okay, and if you do something like that, so you can hear each note. Okay, it's not something like that. So you put the bar on the fifth fret, you hit the first one, the second one, the other one above, you come back with your bar a little, doing this kind of movement, up and down, not too much, now I'm exaggerating, but the thing is like this, something like this. For example, let's try to go down this way. Okay, you can see I'm doing something like that. And coming back, you come back with all your bar. Don't leave the bar here. Because then you don't have control on, on the other strings that make noise. They still ring. So, go back. Then going down. So first you try with one string after each other. And then you can try with all strings together. Okay, now we talk about hammer on and pull offs. As you probably know, it's not something like. bar close to the strings okay and the movement is not up but is back on the back it's not but it should be something like pulling the string on the back and stay anyway close to the string is not try just a little thing you don't have to try always till the end try with the first two for example till you hear only this sound this is important that you begin very slow to do it and string after string This is a secret, this is the secret, there's no escape, it's not... Unless you want to hear this noise and you like it. Then again it's practice. Do it slow, do it one couple of strings at a time. So maybe the first three strings. And then you go farther on. Then another thing. Sometimes I'm more comfortable with my middle finger. And then I end maybe with the thumb. Okay, begin with the middle, first, second, third, and I end with the thumb. All this can be all exercise. You can do it everything with your thumb, or at least the first three, four. And then try with the middle finger. Also the fifth and the sixth strings, the fifth on the first fret and the sixth on the second fret. 90% of time I do it with my middle finger, not with the thumb. I don't I I don't hand with the thumb, but with the middle finger. Sometimes with the index, middle here and index. You can hear the difference. 
I hear the difference between these two sounds. And now the mystery of the hammer on. Okay, the way I like to hear the sound is the sound that it stops immediately. So if possible, also here noise should not be heard. This is a thing I do quite a bit to practice. Just the first two. Till I hear no other sound that. I try with two strings at a time. And not continue to go every time on all the strings. Because if you keep doing this, you are missing the mistake, the little mistake you are doing at the beginning. I try with little exercise. <laughs> As I told you more or less how to do pull off and hammer on, let's try to put them together. So pull off and hammer on are our enemies at the beginning, but if you know how to manage them and you practice, it will become very fun. I read a post yesterday in one of the Dobro sites you can find on Facebook and uh, a person wanted to know how Jerry Douglas did a special hammer on and pull off very fast, in a very fast way. I know that this kind of stuff sometimes, uh, the person who do it seems that he wants to show you how good it is or something like that or where he go, but it's not something like this. You have to think differently. I think the song Jerry Douglas was playing on that video was uh, Sand Hands Reel. Let me get in the mood. Okay. okay, something like that. The the things very fast that he did is a combination of hammer on and pull offs. But also if you do it medium tempo it can be very nice anyway. If we do it very fast it's something like this. But the thing is that if you learn to do it you can slow it down and this helps you to do other things. For example the same song instead of doing you try to do something like this. This is the same. Okay, maybe you don't like it, but if you do something like that. Okay, the idea is but slow it down and this gives you another possibility, another different sound. Okay, and this is fun. So it's okay that you don't do like but Use this stuff, learn it anyway in a slow way. Okay, I think that in general, in some way, I give you ideas of how to manage, how to approach to this, to these things that are not easy. I know for me too, because I'm I'm still practicing these things, so are very difficult so I keep trying but remember to stay close to the string to mute the string as much as possible use your right hand some way 
then when you do hammer on and pull off take the back road not the high road okay no si guys see you on the next uh, video next week hope you like this one and uh, put some comment if you want put a like if you want if you like it and subscribe help me in, uh, in the way that you can and if you activate the little bell you can see immediately when I will put uh, new video new stuff okay thanks guy keep playing see you next week ciao